State officials have deployed teams from all over Florida to assist in those search and rescue efforts in Surfside. One of those teams is from right here in the Tampa Bay area. ABC Action News reporter McKenna King talks with one of the members about how they are helping. It's a team of 72 people from Hillsborough County Fire Rescue as well as Tampa and St. Pete Fire Rescue. They'll be in Surfside for the next seven days and they say at this point, this is still very much a rescue mission. We are still in rescue mode, which means we're still hoping to find live victims. Florida's Task Force 3 deployed to Surfside early Saturday. With orders to arrive by noon, the 72-person crew showed up and got right to work. We train for it year-round. Um, it is bittersweet to get these missions. Uh, it's nice to put our training into action, uh, but again, it's, it is a horrible circumstance uh, that we have to use our training in this way. For the next seven days, they'll be digging through rubble, hoping to rescue any survivors stuck below. At some points, it, it becomes a bucket brigade where you're removing uh, just handfuls of debris by hand, uh, removing it off the pile with buckets. Uh, other times, we can use tools to remove large pieces of concrete or steel or columns uh, and have them removed by crane. It's a deployment unlike any other for Captain Adam Brown. I got quite a few deployments under my belt, um, but nothing, um, not a building collapse of this size, um, of this magnitude, um, with the potential for so many uh, lives lost. Uh, that's that's new for me as well as probably the majority of my team. But they're looking forward to helping their first responder family and the families of those still waiting for answers. We're here to help. We're here to do whatever we can. Um, we'll keep working until the job is done, and we hope we can uh, do a good job. The team is currently working in 12-hour shifts, with half of them on the scene digging through rubble, while the other half sets up the tent village, where they'll be staying for the next week. We'll bring you updates from them as we get them. Reporting in Tampa, McKenna King, ABC Action News.